So NBA free agency started today, and while there were a ton of moves, um, kind of just right out of the gate, there were three super max signings um, that I kind of just wanted to talk about really quick. The first, got to start with the Denver Nuggets, Nikola Jokic, the richest contract in NBA history. Five years, $264 million, with a player option for 27-28, worth $60 million. He can, can predict now he's probably going to pick that up. Um, back-to-back MVP seasons, early playoff exits, yes. Uh, not what the team wanted, but with injuries throughout the, the last couple years. Um, Jokic really put that team on his back, and he was making guys better night in, night out. He was dragging that team to to wins in in the playoffs, and now with Michael Porter Jr. hopefully coming back, Jamal Murray hopefully coming back, uh, whatever they're going to do in free agency, the Nuggets are a team that are primed to continue to get better and try to make those deeper runs into the playoffs. Jokic, I think, is absolutely worth that type of money because he's transcending what the center position can be. Like, every center in the league now, teams want them to be Nikola Jokic. With the soft passing, the playmaking ability, the just complete high basketball IQ, able to just always know where the cutter's going to be, how to read the layout of the court. He has made made the job easier for every guard that walks through in Denver. And he's setting teammates up, like Aaron Gordon, I forgot to mention before, but he's setting teammates up with these beautiful passes, these easy shots, and, you know, hopefully the team is able to put it all together and stay healthy, and we can see him in a Western Conference Finals, in an NBA Finals, and put his talents on display at the highest stages. For Denver, the move makes total sense. They already maxed out Jamal Murray. Um, Michael Porter Jr. as well has signed a max deal. That was before last year, where he missed almost the entire season, but still, he's under contract, and now they secure the MVP, and it's also the richest contract ever. To to go from thinking the center position was done a couple years ago, to now a center is the highest paid player in the history of the league, kind of just shows you that it's all cyclical, and that everything kind of comes back around as far as uh, styles and, and players go in the NBA. So there were two other max deals, super max deals, sorry, that were handed out uh, within like the first hour of free agency. The first one is Bradley Beal re-signing to stay with the Washington Wizards. He opted out on Wednesday, re-signed within like the first 20 minutes of free agency today. It is a five-year, $251 million deal. Um, Good for Bradley Beal. It's kind of like, it's kind of tough. Because it's not as as easily understandable as the Jokic deal or as the other Supermax deal I'll get to in a minute, which is Devin Booker. But Bradley Beal's been with the Wizards for 10 years. He's an organic, homegrown star. They drafted him at, at three overall, and he's slowly and consistently built himself into a better player. He has gotten better every year. He's an all-star. And despite all of that... He hasn't won a playoff series in like five years. He just missed all of this last season with wrist surgery. And signing this max extension pairs him with Chris Tapps Porzingis and makes the Wizards a um, salary cap tax team or a luxury tax team. And they're probably not even going to be forecasted to make the playoffs. They still have Kyle Kuzma. They still have a couple other young players on the roster that they can work with. They have been active in free agency to start. But to lock up that much money in Bradley Beal, it feels like one of those things where they're like, well, we can't lose him for nothing, so let's offer him the Supermax. And if in you know a year or two he wants out, then we have the flexibility and we can trade him. But the problem with that is he's been on the, on the team for 10 years. He's um, had multiple injuries already, and he's going to be 30 soon. So in two years, there's a chance, you know, his skill's not where it was. Um, So it'll be really curious to see. Like, if he ends up deciding, hey, I want out, is this going to be a situation like James Harden where it's like, hey, we've seen, like, a diminishing in the skills, so this is going to affect what we're willing to give you in a trade. Um, I really hope the Wizards can make a splash and pair up Bradley Beal with someone really nice because I love Bradley Beal's game. I think he has one of the smoothest offensive games in the league, and I think the fact that he's in Washington, it can go unnoticed. 
sometimes. And yes, he has the injuries. Yes, the team loses a lot. But watching him specifically play is one of my favorite things. Like, I love watching Bradley Beal play. So I'm happy to see him get this this Supermax deal. I hope it means he's going to stay with the Wizards and they have a plan for building these things and surrounding him with talent. But the Wizards have let him down before. They've let other players down before. They let, they've let John Wall down before. They've let fans down before. So I'm not going to hold my breath too tight. But I'm hoping that they have a plan to surround him with talent that will not only justify this deal, but optimize this time that they have with him. And the last player to get a Supermax today is Devin Booker, who agrees to a four-year, $214 million Supermax extension to stay with the Phoenix Suns. And I was blown away when I read this because I felt like he had just signed a Supermax like two years ago. Turns out it was 2018 for $154 million. Now he signs this one here for $214 million. He's only 25 years old. So he's going to be 29, 30 years old, eligible to sign another four or five year Supermax. Like this dude might go down as like the player to make the most money in just NBA contracts ever. And honestly, I think every cent of it is deserved. Suns did not have the playoffs that they wanted after having the best regular season, um, I think, in team history and in the NBA last year. Um, did not go well. <laughs> They're looking at probably losing DeAndre Ayton. Um, who knows, really, what's going on with that saga. We'll see if, um, you know, the, the Nets know that the Suns are a, a top destination on Kevin Durant's wish list with his trade announcement or request, whatever you want to call it. Um... <laughs> So pairing up, you know, Devin Booker with a KD, a Chris Paul, could be really nice. Devin Booker has evolved to be one of the best offensive players in the league. I think he's really shown that he's taken a lot um, of influence and a lot that he has learned from Chris Paul over these last couple of years together. He seems meaner. Not like like a bad person, but like on the court. Like he has an edge to him that he didn't have before. Like he was a little more friendly with players. He was a little more like... I don't even know what to say. Like a little more fun loving, a little more, a little more jovial in his game. And now when he plays, he's like playing to like really crush a team spirit. And that feels like a Chris Paul thing. Absolutely. Uh, so he's kept under contract. The Suns are going to be in an interesting spot, especially if they lose Aiton because they have him Booker now signed. They have uh, Mikhail Bridges signed and they have Chris Paul signed. Chris Paul's not getting any younger and injuries to him kind of really slowed down the Suns last year. So if he continues to you know miss more games and the miles add up, they're going to be looking at a core of um, Cam Johnson, Devin Booker, and Mikael Bridges. Without Aiton, without a second guard there with Booker, it's going to get a little tougher. So Phoenix, a uh, notoriously stingy, um, <laughs> spendthrift type of team, is going to really be put in an interesting spot here. That's why I think that they kind of have to be a team that tries to trade for KD. The Nets have said any trades for Kevin Durant start with Devin Booker. That's not happening. They're not going to trade Devin Booker. I can't imagine the Suns would want to trade for Kevin Durant to pair 33-year-old Kevin Durant with 37-year-old Chris Paul and then just be in salary cap hell in two years. Um... So if the Suns can convince the Nets to take assets that are like DeAndre Ayton in a signing trade, Cam Johnson, tons of picks, other players, whatever else they can put together, uh, it makes the most sense. They have kind of probably the best selection of assets as far as like on a contending team, on a team Durant would want to go to. But uh, honestly, though, all it is, all, all this comes down to is Devin Booker is a top 15 top 10, top 12, like, I don't know where you want to put him, but he is a top player in this league. He's a multiple-time All-Star. He was an MVP candidate to a lot of people this last season. Um, him and CP3 kind of canceled each other out, but Devin Booker is one of the brightest young stars in the league, and it feels like he's been here forever, and he's only 25 years old, so he's only going to get better. So I'm sure they're glad to get this done now, because who knows what's going to happen with the salary cap in the next couple seasons, um, but I think absolutely absolutely worth it i think locking him down for another four years um kind of making sure you don't have to worry about that at least will give you a little bit of core flexibility as you try to figure out what to do without chris paul 
but honestly they need to be trying to maximize this window and just solving this right now and getting this problem out of the way now before it becomes a problem is absolutely the best uh, the best possible outcome for pretty much everyone involved uh, so those, those are the three big um, supermax extensions from the day let me know your thoughts on any of them if you think they're all deserved or if you would have done something different uh, what you hope to see these teams do now that they have these players locked up let me know in the comments. Uh, thank you very much, and I will be back.